hi everyone this is the second part of the other video as i told you before that i will post it uh, as you can see you have to go to google and you have to dive m m11 x w w a n and as you can see on the first one over there go to the third one i can i can use the mouse actually over there uh, that's node uh, notebook review forum from there just scroll it down and there you go someone named Morkaleb Mr. Morkaleb and uh, he has explained everything how to do that so just follow his instructions add an environment variable with the name blah 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 and value over there so I'm gonna show you how to do that as well well guys uh, you have to click on over here on your computer button as I can as you can see and click the right click go to the properties and go to advanced system actually you can keep it on the left and follow the instruction there are the instructions obviously you can you know where I'm following it from the computer properties and advanced settings so there you go advanced system settings And then advanced yep we are already in the advanced tab and then button environmental variables this is the button down there environment variables so click on that mm -hmm. and don't add it there add it down here just follow my mouse over here just press the new button new the variable name the variable name should be down there as you can see devmgr underscore show underscore non present underscore devices and the value over there it should be device value should be one i believe you can see it here that is the device value one and then press ok I already did it so I'm not gonna do that in again for you so if you do that after that your device manager go to device manager there over here I think uh, so far I can remember either in ports or some other devices somewhere over here I mean it will show you with a I mean yellow note of uh, what is called note of exclamation or note of interrogation something like that and um, it will show you that this device they have at least recognized the Dell 5530 so after that what you will have to do just keep it right there so as you it is found your next part is to download the driver software for Dell 5530 as this guy said as I told you that this guy has said over here if you read it carefully Dell 5530 GPS Jeep you can download it from here but unfortunately the link doesn't work so uh, well guys you can see this is actually base 7 that you can see and uh, someone mr neil mcrae you have to click on this link and it will download about uh, 70 megabyte file and it has all the driver software even for 64 bit windows and uh, 86 bit uh, 32 bit windows and other thing is it has the driver software i mean not driver software sorry it has the i mean what it is called the gps and the network software as well that it can run with 
Unfortunately, there are new versions of uh, those softwares, but none of them is compatible with uh, Alienware. I don't know why you have to use the old one, but it works really nice. I've been working now. I've been using it now. So you have nothing to worry about. Just download it. I think it will take some time, depending on your speed. And after that, once the download is complete, After that, once the once once the download is complete, just extract it some, some somewhere on the desktop so that you can use it and look at it easily. Go to Device Manager, and while you can see the Dell five five three zero whatever, click on that. Whatever it is, it's not showing it here because. I have already installed it. I know I can show you why why did I install it right there. There are two Dell five five three zero. There are in the modem section. There are five five three zero. There is uh, in a smart card Dell five five three zero, and there are so many other things. You have to install actually six seven different uh, specific items. Anyway, somewhere over here, as I was telling, you will find the Dell 5530 and with the note of exclamation or note of interrogation whatever just click on that or right click on that and update driver software and then just locate the driver software to that software that extracted folder and uh, don't forget to tick on including subfolders I'm telling you to everything from my memory anyway excuse me for any mistakes and if there is any complexity just um, leave some comments I will try to solve it by days anyway so go there and if it is 64 bit windows just show the folder of 64 bit one if it is 86 show that one and then it will don't try to find out the file just show the folder it will find out the file automatically and then it will install that once it is installed straight away you will it will ask to I mean restart the computer or if it doesn't you better restart it and then it will say again if you go after that after restarting just go to device manager again and try to see what happened it we will see that it found some more devices but still it's not working so what you have to do that is the tricky bit you can see the listen to me carefully over here you can see the view go to view I believe you can see show hidden devices click on hidden devices it will show you I mean a hell lot of hidden devices so you will click on everyone especially on modems uh, non plug and play drivers uh, no sorry network adapters other devices uh, might be portable devices I'm not sure ports and actually you better look for everyone wherever you can see anything saying 5530 Dell 5530 Dell wireless 5530 modem GPS or whatever click on it on everyone right click especially and update the driver software again in the same way and look at I mean look at the driver to that uh, extracted folder again do it again because it might not work for me it worked on the fourth time so every time I mean you have to it it I think it has a conflict with the Windows 764 bit the new version so gradually it tries to solve the problem so you have to keep doing it so after that, once the, all the installation for all the devices, uh, it should be about 6-7 items. All the items are done, restart the computer again or maybe it will prompt for restarting. And after restarting, come back again and see if there is any device. Go, you have to go to the view again and uh, show all the hidden devices and see if there is any device with Dell that is showing 
the note of interrogation or explanation uh, no sorry exclamation or anything that is not installed yet if you find anything just install it again and once it's done restart the computer again and this time when you are back you have to check in the device manager whether all the look at that uh, sorry about that let's look at that it should be there two of these one and two you can see and it should be network adapters there you go you can see Dell wireless and I think you can see ports that is uh, mini card port and this is GPS port obviously this card has a GPS anyway it's nice and after that you can see smart card filter there should be smart card filter driver that can read the sim card and then smart card readers that is the L5530 whatever 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 you better check everything and it will you will find five six or six seven items in that and all of them should be showing just like that no any other sign or yellow sign or any hazard sign or whatever so when it is done you, you are sure that your device is installed now you need a driver software sorry not driver a what is called a wireless software so go to the extracted folder again that you extracted here and you will see there is another um, yeah so far I can remember okay hold on guys I will show you actually I have saved the file well this will be the folder so this time uh, you since now you are working with that the GPS 64 bit 86 bit sorry I, I could show you earlier I forgot actually and the second one this is the wireless software so now extract this one double click on that one and install the software and after that restart the computer again not restart sorry you better shut it down and then the desired sim card you want to use it with I believe you know where it is it is just right there you can see I have already inserted a sim card like that use your desired sim card into the insert it into the sim card reader and then now start your computer and once it is started wireless manager go to wireless manager see it is going to start anyway for me it's showing no sim card as I took off the sim card but um, for you definitely it will show you some sim card and it works really nice and really fine really fast everything is fine but you have to remember one thing each and every time you have to pop the sim card in before you start your machine if you take it off during the during the machine is running it will not work it will stop working and if you try to change the sim and insert a new sim card it will not detect at least for me it doesn't work like that even for the forum guys as I show you uh, from the notebook review forum most of the guys for the most of the guys it happened I don't know maybe for all of them it is like that so anyway if you like to use the sim card you can use that you have to insert it in there and then start the machine and go to wireless manager you can use it straight away that's really nice software I like it you have SMS options you have phone books and over here you have uh, GPS as well now before I finish it I need to tell you one more thing